Good Friday morning, folks. I'm News 18 meteorologist Cam Hotman with today's edition of your weather vlog. We are looking at a very nice day ahead of us considering the cloudy skies we saw yesterday, the day before, and even the day before with all the snowfall. Since then, gloomy, cold temperatures sitting right around the mid to low 30s. Yesterday we hit 35 degrees, which is about a four degree improvement over the day before. Today we're talking about the mid 40s, and that means we're in the middle of a warming trend. This warming trend could actually last through the weekend. Today we're looking at a very beautiful day, though this morning was a little bit on the chilly side. We fell all the way down to 18 degrees earlier on this morning. As of now, right around 10 15, it's 30 degrees. So temperatures on the rise, and we once again are headed for those mid 40s later in the day today. With high pressure located just to our northeast at this time, we're also seeing those winds relatively calm as well, but winds expect them to be from the southeast right around 5 to 10 miles per hour. The sunshine, the southerly winds, really helping to boost those temperatures up towards 45 degrees for Lafayette later this afternoon. Now that high pressure system will continue to drag further off to the east throughout the day today. We will be staying sunny around the viewing area, but as we get into the evening hours, the overnight hours, cloud cover will begin to move on in. We're talking about some uh, scattered light upper atmospheric at, uh, moisture coming off of a low pressure system to our west. Now here at the surface, it's gonna be nice and dry. High pressure still dominating the surface, but as you get further up into the atmosphere, that's where you're gonna be seeing that moisture. So tomorrow, look for mostly cloudy skies, but even warmer temperatures. Now, with all the cloud cover, how can we have the warmer temperatures? Well, actually, with that high to our east, that low to our west, it's actually creating a nice channel of warm, moist air into the region, and that means things will be warmer. So mostly cloudy skies, but temperatures warm up to around 50 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. We are going to be seeing temperatures warmer once again for Sunday. This time, though, it comes with rain. That low pressure system will finally move across the viewing area by Sunday morning and afternoon, bringing scattered showers, maybe even a few thunderstorms. Now, over the last few model runs, this low has actually picked up some speed. Originally, we thought, hey, maybe this low pressure system will stick around for Monday evening keeping temperatures even warmer. We were talking about maybe even seeing 60 degrees come next Monday. At this point, it looks like that may not be the case anymore. That low pressure system continues to pick up some speed the last few weather uh, forecast model runs. And as that low drags across the region a little bit quicker, we're going to be seeing 56 degrees come Sunday, scattered showers, a few thunderstorms, but the rain should begin to fall apart or at least exit the viewing area by Sunday afternoon and evening. Once we get towards Monday, that cold front will have already came through and cooled things off. 32 year overnight low temperature Sunday night into Monday morning. We only warm up to 43, which really isn't too bad considering that's about three degrees below average for this time of the year for your Monday. But don't fret, folks, because the 50s will be making a return once again to the forecast. 47 year high temperature on Tuesday. By Wednesday, we're talking about a high temperature of 53 degrees. Partly cloudy skies that day. Certainly a pretty nice. Uh, midweek or at least Tuesdays looking mostly sunny even as well. So uh, as the wrap up the extended forecast here, we see that 53 on Wednesday by Thursday, we dip down a little bit, 48 degrees your high temperature, but it looks like temperatures will be staying mild as we get towards the beginning or middle part of next week. That's pretty much all I wanted to hit on today, just uh, the timing of that low this weekend. Oh, and one more thing I almost forgot, we spring ahead. We are uh, entering daylight saving time, so we spring ahead, remember, 2 a.m., uh, Sunday morning, or at least before you fall asleep. I'm not sure you're going to want to wake up at 2 a.m. Sunday morning, but before you fall asleep Saturday night, remember to set those clocks ahead an hour. We lose an hour, so uh, everyone on the morning show is kind of fretting and really do not. <laughs> Monday is going to be a little bit of a rough one for everybody uh, here on the morning show and uh, daybreak, but all together, uh, it's going to be a pretty nice uh, few days ahead. Even some showers and thunderstorms I think we'll take it considering those very nice temperatures headed our way. Until next week, folks, I'm News 18 meteorologist Cam Hotman signing off.